Worldwide, Dirty Water. I love that Dirty Water TV. Love that Dirty Water TV. Woo -woo. I love that Dirty Water. Dirty Water TV. Dirty Water. I love that Dirty Water TV. I really do. The best. Ow! Welcome to Dirty Water TV. I'm Julia Scaparotti. And I'm Jesse Strom. In tonight's show, we take you into the heart of the North End at La Conte Restaurant right on Salem Street. That's right, they serve up some amazing traditional Italian dishes, very attentively, and giant portions. I know, look at this calamari right in front of us. And the Caesar salad could feed probably five people. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a great show for you tonight. Here's what's on tap. We're off to the Cheeky Monkey Brewing Company, where Sam Howe takes an in-depth look at this funky beer emporium. The Bruins are in full playoff mode and Josh Dolan takes a look inside Bruins Mania. Allie Reed hits Scorpion Bar for a Bud Light Orange Party. And our gal pal Bailey takes us to this year's Miss Pink pageant. But first, we're off to Cheeky Monkey Brew Pub. And that's tonight's big ticket brought to you by Higgs Tickets. I'm Sam Howe and I'm super stoked to check out this place here in Boston. It's called Cheeky Monkey Brewing Company and they make all their own beer in-house, so everything you're drinking comes straight from the holding tank. We're gonna take you behind the scenes, show you how they're making all the beer here, as well as take a look at the food and the atmosphere here to show you why this place is quickly gonna become one of your favorite breweries here in Boston. The team behind this six-month-old, 106-seat restaurant and brewery likes to define a cheeky monkey as a person containing incredible amounts of awesomeness through use of sarcasm but there's nothing sarcastic about the awesomeness of their brews. Go walking in this place, we've got steel tanks in the back, awesome bar, great looking atmosphere here. Where's the magic happen? So the magic happens <laughs> in our tap room, four brew tanks over there that we make all our beers. We do one specialty beer that rotates okay. every month. Right now we did a coffee IPA that's currently on tap. And all the magic happens with Jason, he's our brewer. We operate off of a four 10 barrel brewing system. Yeah. Everything that we make in house, we dry hop. So after the dry hopping process, we filter the beer, we carbonate it, we crash cool it, then it's ready to serve. Well, what's the inspiration behind some of the flavors that, that you have here? So the East Coast IPA, obviously on the East Coast, it's our number one seller. Yeah. That's our best beer, everyone loves it. Second highest seller is our blueberry wheat. Okay. Didn't want to go with a blueberry, uh, a fruity beer. It ended up coming out awesome. We make it super light, refreshing, nice flavor to it, not too overpowering. So here in the kitchen with head chef Jessica. Now this is your domain. You know, obviously being on Lansdowne Street, you want to keep things interesting, keep things fun. Yeah. People are used to eating things from all over the world these days. So our menu is really inspired by like global street food. Awesome. Stuff you can get, you know, in Southeast Asia, but also, you know, stuff you get in New Orleans. The menu here, it, it caters to kind of everyone and it's the beer as well. Everyone will find something that they like here. All right, so these are the copper tanks Jason was talking about out back, right? Right, so what, what we do is we get a really long hose and we pump it from our holding tank into these copper tanks. Okay. What really makes a tank so special is that we're the only one in the country that has these tanks behind the bar. The tanks hold about 20 half barrels of beer, which is a thousand liters, so that's a lot. You're really not gonna get a better quality fresh beer anywhere in the city, anywhere in New England, anywhere in the country because we're so fresh coming from those tanks. You know, when the owner started this uh, vision of this cheeky monkey, yeah. he started with the tanks first and then he just made his way down. I can't wait to try this, man. Me too. Let's do it. Let's grab some beer. Our mission is to make beers for anyone that walks in, whether it's, uh, you know, a, a guy who just likes a Bud Light or someone who, who drinks the, you know, the higher gravity beers. We have that for them too. So right. it's, you know, we want to just make sure that this stays a brewery and it's always going to be a brewery. Um, and we never want to lose that, that image that we have on the street. And uh, I've never worked with a chef as talented as Jessica right now. Speaking of, <laughs> that's perfect that's timing. Great. Jessica, thank you. Yeah. We got a bunch of table games. It gets it gets pretty busy on Saturday yeah, night. Shuffleboard, pool, ping pong. The shuffleboard's a huge hit right now. It's usually a really big line on Saturday, so I'm asking people to get get in here early. Re reserve your spot. Or yeah, no? we actually take a reservation on our iPad for you the know, shuffleboard. For the shuffleboard, pool tables, and ping pong. Had an awesome meal. 
great beer. I'm now gonna get my growler to go, which I've never done before at a restaurant. Joe, I'm normally an IPA guy, but you sold me on that blueberry. Can I get one of those? That'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, Unbelievable. Let me just throw your tag on there. I've never ever seen this in a place in Boston where you can come in and maybe you don't want to go inside, but grab some of their awesome beer to go and bring it on home with you. This is it. Exactly. Bada bing, bada boom. You own it. Tell your friends. Dude, I had an awesome time here, man. This was absolutely phenomenal. Well, we hope to see you this, uh, this spring and this summer. And, yeah. um, you know, we're, 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 we're going to be doing different beers, so keep coming back in. You'll never know what we're going to have on tap. For sure, man. Cheeky monkey. I'm all about it right now. Appreciate awesome, it again, man. man. Have a good one. Take it easy. See ya. I'm taking my growl to go. That's tonight's big ticket brought to you by Higgs Tickets. Here's what else is going on around town. Hi, I'm Higgs. So call me, get tickets, and be part of the action. Thanks, Sam. And later on in this show, we'll take you back to Cheeky Monkey for their big St. Patrick's Day celebration. So you're going to want to stay tuned. Yes, and Bruins are in full playoff mode right now. And our own Josh Dolan is standing by with more on Bruins Mania. Okay, so as you can tell, Mother Nature is a Maple Leafs fan and it's crying tears. Mother Nature is crying for you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought it was going to be us, but it's <laughs> it's ridiculous and you, your voodoo worked. I know. I, I never questioned it for a second. I knew it would work. You know what this means? What? In, as far as the Bruins go, we got to drink that nasty maple syrup for, oh, before man. every game. I guess so. I guess, <laughs> I guess so. I'm stuck doing that. But this is, I'm going to be driving home. The rain tonight is confetti for me. Let's see what everyone else is thinking. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Talk. It's been a it's been a long tough series. I think that we should have put it away in game five, honestly. But I think we're going to take it tonight. Um, you know, Toronto's a cute team and everything, but uh, it's it's a way past the bedtime. Go Bruins! You think we can do this? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, last time we played this team down, I mean that was insane. Yeah, yeah, we got this one. We got this we one. We have a set of shots just after the, the next win. goal. Just after the win. Right here. Every time I get drinks from you two, they win. Yeah. Yes. So what do you have to say to the rest of Boston if they want the Bruins to win the cup? Wear good luck charms. What do you think of the game going in? A little nervous, you know, when, when you don't uh, when you don't show up and uh, you know after a three one lead. A little nerve wracking. So this is the maple syrup that Renee Raincourt used to gargle today, right before he sang the national uh -huh. anthem. And how did you even get that? Cheers, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, let's show everyone what, what they just, what did they just drink? Here's Jake DeBrusk accelerating, cuts, and it scores! Jake DeBrusk puts the Bruins ahead! Here's Pasternak, he thinks he scores! The Bruins are up two! Boston wins game seven. seven we're on a Florida. You know what, Florida, here we come. You know what, no one thinks we're going to beat Florida. We are going to beat Florida. We're going to beat you guys in seven. So we already knew that the Bruins would crush it tonight. All right, Bruins won. We got Celtics playoffs too. So stick around. This is Nikki for Dirty Water Media. Up next, we're off to Scorpion Bar for a Bud Light Orange Bash. And later, think pink as Bailey takes us to this year's Miss Pink pageant. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Julia Scaparotti. And I'm Jesse Strom. And tonight's show is in the heart of the North End at La Conti Restaurant. We've been eating some great calamari, Caesar salad. I'll tell you, this is one of the best Caesar salads I have ever eaten. It's so good. It's so fresh and yummy. It is. And the dressing isn't too, isn't too heavy. It's nice and light. The croutons are definitely homemade. I'm a foodie. It's perfect. And what about this wine? The wine's good. I mean, wine's always good on a Wednesday, right? <laughs> but you know what else is good? You know, if you're not a wine drinker, but maybe you're a beer drinker, yes. Bud Light has some new flavors out. And at Scorpion Bar, they were celebrating Bud Light Orange. Yes, let's take a look. 
Just in time for summer, that is, if summer ever arrives in the city of Boston, Bud Light is introducing a whole new flavor that is sure to bring you some sunshine. Bud Light Orange is officially launching tonight here at the Scorpion Bar in Boston Seaport District, so let's go soak up some sunshine. Bud Light is expanding the brand's citrus portfolio with the addition of Bud Light Orange. This new light lager is brewed with real orange peels to deliver a clean and crisp taste that highlights natural citrus flavors in every sip. Fruit flavored beverages in the alcohol category as well as even in soft drinks, it's really been on, on, the, on the rise. So we wanted to get involved with that. We've seen a lot of success with Bud Light Lime. We reformulated that and we saw a big opportunity with orange flavored beverages. We see it doing well in other categories. So we wanted to get involved with that as well. Pairing up with the Bud Light name, which is very powerful, we thought it's a great opportunity for the summertime. Targeted toward Budweiser's younger consumers who are eager to try new flavored light beer options, Bud Light Orange is perfect for summer and summer drinking occasions. What are your thoughts on it? I gotta know. Overall, like very refreshing, and I'm glad to see that it comes in the swim can, you know, bring it to the beach, the pool, everything you need. In line with that younger demographic, Budweiser decided to launch Bud Light Orange at one of Boston's hot new clubs, the Scorpion Bar in Boston Seaport District. Scorpion Bar transports guests from the hustle and bustle of Boston's Innovation District and into another world that devours the sense with Mexican food, drink, and ambiance. Scorpion Bar has been such an established brand at Foxwood, such an established brand at Patriot Place, that we thought we want to bring it to Boston. We knew it's, there's nothing else like it here with our blend of dining, our blend of nightlife, our blend of hospitality, and our blend of customer service. Bud Light's been a great partner of ours for many years. We're now in our third Scorpion Bar location. We're excited to bring this new brand and this new product to Boston. Bud Light Orange is now available nationwide and will soon be enjoyed on beaches and at barbecues all across New England. But word of advice, get these while you can because Bud Light Orange is only available for the summer. Reporting for Dirty Water TV, I'm Allie Reed. Thanks, Sally. I, you know, Jess, I just want the warm weather to get here so I can drink a Bud Light Orange on your boat. That's right. It sounds like it's going to be our drink of choice this year. It definitely will be. <laughs> One of the things I am bummed about is that I missed the Miss Pink pageant this year, but Bailey was there to cover it for us. Let's take a look and see how successful it was again this year. The Miss Pink pageant celebrates breast cancer warriors who are fighting against the disease. Tonight, the spotlight is put on the beauty and the grace that they possess. The ninth annual Miss Pink Pageant's Kentucky Derby theme has the ladies donning their best hats and the guys in bow ties. The Miss Pink Pageant benefits and celebrates the life of breast cancer survivors and the true beauty, courage, and hope that every breast cancer survivor possesses. With a focus on redefining beauty and helping breast cancer survivors feel beautiful, the Miss Pink Pageant focuses on numerous pink warriors who are currently battling breast cancer in a pageant-like competition. When someone's diagnosis doesn't just impact one member it impacts the entire family members. Just to be able to redefine beauty for these women and be able to offset some of the stressors that way, at the same time also be able to carry out some of the legacies of the people that we've lost to cancer. The Miss Pink pageant started in 2010 as an annual benefit event that has since grown to serve as a community for breast cancer survivors and their families to come together in support of one another. The pageant has become Miss Pink's signature yearly event that has led the organization to realize the need to continuously support breast cancer patients and survivors and all of those at risk all year round. The Miss Pink pageant offers a platform to share these compelling stories while also demonstrating the grace, courage, and strength that they all possess. And what we've all been waiting for, Miss Pink 2018 is... Amazed, overwhelmed, just incredible. What a what a beautiful feeling. I've had an amazing day surrounded by such love, such survivors, the incredible Miss Pink family that I will now be part of forever. Um, I'm just honored. Up next we head back to Cheeky Monkey for a St. Paddy's Day celebration. That's when Dirty Water TV from La Conte's restaurant in the North End returns.
Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Jesse Strom. And I'm Julia Scaparotti. And we are here at the beautiful, comfy, cozy, and delicious La Conte restaurant in the North End. We are eating good tonight. And it just keeps coming. It's so good. <laughs> So early in the show, we were at Cheeky Monkey, and we're gonna head back there. Our own Courtney Cox was there celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Courtney Cox here at Cheeky Monkey. It's St. Patrick's Day. We're in Boston, so we're gonna head inside and see what it's all about. We're right by Fenway, no better place to be, so let's go have some fun. not how you drive, it's how you arrive. So we are on a mission to go in there and find the best dressed person on St. Patrick's Day. It's Boston, it's St. Patrick's Day, it's fun. This should be easy. All right, these guys have been drinking all morning, correct? Yeah. Work does not know you're here? No. All right. all right, let's talk about the outfits. I want to start over here. This is a great Celtics jersey. If we could turn around, get a full spin, a uh, Larry Bird jersey. Uh, he told me his name was Larry earlier. It's not. Um, and then we have Rub Me For Luck. You're going to get a lot of girls today with that. This one looks like it is uh, very Irish, very authentic. Yeah. Yep, definitely, 100%. This one as well. Oh, good work. Oh, wow. A little rugby shirt we've got going there. I'm here with Ray now. Ray, we have to talk about your t-shirt. Um, what exactly does it say? It says, make America drunk again. My girlfriend made it. I did not make it. Right here, my girlfriend. She made it. All right, I found Ray's actual girlfriend who made the shirt. So like you worked hours on that shirt. Yes, we spent last night, you know, making it and then this morning and it just, we did our shoes too. Oh, there you have it. Zoom in on those. I'm jealous of those, thank you. All right, so we're still on the hunt. I don't know, there's a lot of flashing lights, there's a lot of headbands, there's a lot of Celtics jerseys. We gotta find something special, something key. All right, I found my winner. Steven, come on in. Yeah. Mighty Ducks jersey, St. Patrick's Day. You yeah. had to go with it, right? Of course. You had to. It's green. It's green. Yeah. And your tongue is green. Can we get a close up on the tongue? Cause that's a great, that's a great sign right there. From the green beer that they got. It is. what St. Patrick's Day is all about. Up next, we're off to Toby Keith's for a Patron Margarita. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Welcome back to Laconte's restaurant. And I told you earlier, the food just keeps coming. <laughs> it has been a great show here at Dirty Water TV. I'm Julia Scaparotti. And I'm Jesse Strom. And I had an amazing time at Toby Keith's where we were hanging out with Patron, who's coming out with a new margarita for this summer. All right, let's check it out. When you hear the name Toby Keith's, you know you're going to love this bar and grill. It's the atmosphere, it's the outside, it's warm, we have our patio, the games, uh, bands, live music all weekend, it's just a great time. Tonight Patron Tequila is giving us even more reason to love Toby Keith's. Tonight we're serving the perfect Patron Margarita, it's with Patron Silver, the um, liqueur or mango, and some simple syrup and lime juice. Sounds very refreshing. I think that this might be a good cocktail to try and whole summer into Boston. What do you think? It is. We need summer and it needs to be here fast so it can be margarita season yeah. every day. Patron is giving summer a nudge just before Cinco de Mayo and pouring some summer themed margaritas that will make this chilly spring feel downright tropical. We have our signature Patron uh, margarita on our menu. It's my favorite. I just, I'm a Patron girl. Um, so we do Patron, Patron, Citronage, um, sour, Sprite, and I do a little lime juice to make it tastes even better. And you know when you're drinking Patron margaritas, you really need some good old down-home country cooking to build your base. We have a couple of signature dishes like the American Soldier Burger, the Cowboy Burger. The chicken fried steak and the chicken fried chicken are definitely the country fare the most. What is the difference between a chicken fried steak and a chicken fried chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one steak, one chicken. <laughs> Good answer. And after we eat, it's time to work off the calories dancing to live music. What's your live music schedule? What do you have going on here at Toby Keith's? 
Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday night, basically, all through the summer. Toby Keith's always features live music, and tonight was no different as the Roadhouse Strangers got a little weird. The name Roadhouse Strangers, just like it sounds, we were all strangers. We came from different musical backgrounds. We all met here in Massachusetts, the melting pot. We got together with a lot of different musical influences, and we just brought all of this together to make the magic that we make here on stage. The heartbeat of the band is, is rock and roll, and we blend some of that southern country. I'll tell you, Toby Keith is always such a great time. A giant bar, great food, great music, great tequila. But that was just the first stop on our tequila tour, on our Patron Margarita tour this year. Check it out on DirtyWaterMedia.com and also all of our other social media accounts to see what we've been going on. Instagram, Twitter, Dirty Water Media. Like it, comment, follow. Follow. You know what to do. <laughs> Jess, I'm so sad the show and the night's over. I know. We I had know. so much fun. We always have so much fun. We ate such good food. We had an amazing service, great wine, awesome food. Lacante Restaurant, North End of Boston. The best. The best. All right, what's our slogan here at Dirty Water? You know, the weekend may be over, but the party never ends on, on Dirty, Dirty Water, Water TV. TV.